All right, here we go. This is a custom 1v1 on Nestorm between the Carbon player in the upper left-hand corner. Woke up in that uh, team color-specific Nexus Paladin. I swear, uh, once again, it is a neck made out of plastic. And his opponent, the green player in the bottom right-hand corner, Valinor in the Steampunk Helix. I'm, I'm getting pretty damn good at saying Helix over Chomp nowadays, guys. I don't know if you can actually find one of my recent videos where I'm actually saying Chopper um, over Helix. It, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's kind of random. But uh, but right now, we, we do see Wolf Cup socketing our pre-making you know pre -making money makers. Valinor doing the same. We do see rollers in both of these guys' loadouts. Um, it is, once again, uh, Paladin versus Helix. Um, and uh, Wolf Cup again with this. I guess this is kind of signature now. Three uh, Husky Pups, which is not available in story more. And now Valinor setting a couple of zippers down. I'm not really sure why. Um, okay, he is going with that cheese, uh, early cheese. Um, and right now Wolf Cup socketing some, um, some bun uh, bunk bunkering some, some um, infantry. And Valinor sending these zippers all over the place. Uh, two set here at this outpost and one following him for this one. Uh, Valinor uh, really, really low on health and does get finished by Wolf Cup on the ground. Those zippers not really providing that great of a, a distraction. Um, Wolf Cup will have to set a couple of units down here, reposition that Dillo to be able to take care of it. Oh, that top zipper was actually, I don't think that's actually being attacked. Um, yeah, oh, that's a runner that got spawned. Okay, now it does get killed. Now Valinor dropping a single roller. Uh, will be able to, I don't know, tank a lot of damage from that, from that, from that, that mid. Uh, but right now we do have Wolf Cup uh, doing a little bit of infantry harass, uh, in, you know, harass with infantry down at Valinor's close and trying to get a moneymaker killed. Valinor does save it in time, and Valinor also drops a deal to take care of those infantry really, really quick thinking there. And Valinor, uh, Wolf Cup tr still trying to kill the moneymakers. Valinor not level two yet. I Wolf Cup GTFOing before he does hit level two and gets those rockets. And now Wolf Cup starting his a mid fight of his own. Valinor already had a roller in play. Uh, where'd that go? Oh, it died way over here. So I guess that was a worthwhile distraction, definitely from worth from Wolf Cup. It uh, cost Valinor his rat uh, his roller, which is like I don't know, I don't remember specifically like 8,500 creds or something like that. Um, I know it's 8,000 something. I'm pretty sure. Uh, right now, Valinor sees this kind of open. I don't know. Wolf Cup will be able to react to this. Oh, no, but he might get finished off by Valinor all the way back to this. Okay, no, does not get finished off. Very, very close, though. Uh, Wolf Cup does uh, not uh, have to take care of those long or those those uh, infantry that Valinor dropped. Oh, man, dropping really, really deep in there, but actually does not get finished off. Uh, does retreat in time. Valinor was not there in time to actually get Wolf Cup. And now Wolf Cup. Uh, definitely winning this mid fight has a lot of dillos there and a buster and some ratchets. Wow, uh, Valinor with that roller will be able to uh, tank a lot of the damage from the uh, you know his side of the mid neutral. Valinor will probably be able to snipe this dillo. Uh, whoa, Wolf Cup saves it in time. Really, really fast movement by Wolf Cup in that paladin and Valinor. Oh, gets finished off by Wolf Cup in that retreat. And Wolf Cup will be able to just pick off the rest of these billows. I'm surprised he's not bringing any infantry to the mid fight. And I think Valinor might have spammed that respawn button just a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure though. I really, really wish we could see that. That's kind of on my never-ending wish list of spectator uh, things that I kind of want. But anyway, so now Wolf Cup with a lot of units. Holy crap, that's a lot of units. Valinor with a couple of zippers here. So uh, that will keep that outpost neutral should Wolf Cup decide to drop some infantry. Um, Valinor retreating his roller. I guess that's probably really wise that rad those ratchets will be able to heal it up. But now Wolf Cup with that hammer. Oh, that's going to be so effective. Able to hide behind that outpost and oh, not getting chased down by Valinor all the way back to his outpost. But now Valinor with a really, really great angle. A roller in front to tank those buster shots. Uh, but Wolf Cup now with no roller of his own out on the field quite yet. Valinor coming out with more busters. Uh, that roller actually almost dead. I would like to see those ratchets reposition just a little bit. Wolf Cup trying uh, to kill what he can. Oh man, that's a little bit dangerous, especially against those busters. But if you can keep moving, those busters will not fire at you. Another roller coming out for Valinor. Valinor able to grab this mid, but there's so many dillos there. It doesn't stay in his control for long. I guess it was probably worth it for those for that 250 experience. Uh, uh, Wolf Cup not actually clearing the rest of his neutrals yet. Uh, but still has a Seeker and a Longhorn sitting over there. Oh, now, now Wolf Cup finally coming out with a roll of his own. More support units in those ratchets coming up. Valinor, Valinor really, really encroaching on Wolf Cup's space here. A lot of, uh, you know, yeah, he definitely has a better, um, I, I, I don't know, I guess a more forward position. Oh, well, Valinor's ratchet, or not ratchet, wow, these, these names. Roller went down. 
Um, and Wolf Cub's roller is about to go down as well, but tanking all that damage, allowing Wolf Cub to throw his hammer in quite a lot. Now Valinor um, keeping his um, uh, his units, uh, just continually dropping more stuff, bringing more and more units. Now more busters coming out. Of, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty sizable upkeep advantage for Wolf Cub. It's 79 to 62 right now, so it's pretty close to a 20, like a 15 to 20 um, upkeep unit uh, unit difference right now. Uh, but Valinor finished off by Wolf Cub on the ground. Now, once again, in that time, Wolf Cub will use that time to spam his hammer. Um, Valinor does respawn now. Uh, Wolf Cub coming out with another roller. Um, and Valinor with more zippers. Once again, to keep that outpost neutral. Um, not, not dropping it out here for that meat shield purposes. And now Valinor uh, trying to take this mid. Will be able to grab it ever so... Oh, no! It does not get it. Only three bolts went up. I think one got knocked down on the way. Um, and now Wolf Cub coming out with more attack units, busters, and more ratchets to support. You know, to be honest, with the position that he has, he doesn't really need the ratchets there as much. He, if he wants to, you know, get the full potential out of those ratchets, really, really needs to have a better angle and actually have them healing units under attack. But now Valinor able to grab this mid and keep it under his control. There's one bulb up. I would like to see Wolf Cub shooting in. But, oh no, will probably get finished off here. Valinor already level 4. Will be able to fire in with his rockets. Finishing off Wolf Cub on the ground. And no, man. Valinor with this mid grab. And, uh, with, you know, able to bring units out. Heal his units up. You know, keep all of his energy. Um, will be able to finish off the rest of Wolf Cub's units here. F Wolf Cub finally respawning. But now just some Dillos. Oh, God. Just some Dillos in his in his uh, cargo, and uh, now even though he has that upkeep advantage, uh, and most of it is I, where is it? I guess a lot of it is sitting here uh, for the mid fight. But you know, Valinor with that outpost in his control is definitely going to win this. Valinor finishing off Wolf Cup once again. Wolf Cup overextending himself, dropping way behind enemy lines there behind. Uh, Val all of Valinor's units now. Valinor are gonna use this opportunity to neutralize this outpost. Gonna be able to snipe this Dillo before Wolf Cub comes back. Wolf Cub does realize what Valinor is doing. Brings some creeps to the fight. Now drops. Oh no, does not drop some Dillos to prevent those uh, zippers from neutralizing. It does come back to this mid fight. Does not stop. But it's just really, really dangerous to do that, especially with Valinor at this mid. Um, I don't know. I, I think he probably should back pull back in this context. But he's still a little bit ahead in upkeep. And oh, the one again gets finished off just landing a little bit too much that OP hammer is just I guess it's really really worth it to land you know what I mean so, uh, but right now Valnor uh, just uh, it, 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 he's still behind an upkeep but with that outpost under his control can keep you know can keep control his creeps are you know wandering in and walking in Wolf Cup almost getting killed up with Valnor choosing not to chase him down more busters coming out, um, and Valinor uh, is still. Oh, he's positioning a ratchet. That's kind of random. Uh, okay, now ratchet healing up that buster. Uh, but now Wolf Cup uh, just trying to micro his Dillos around. Valinor is still behind and up. This is just really, really strange. A lot of just a hardcore micro going down. Valinor killing Wolf Cup once again. Wolf Cup just landing and and throwing that hammer over and over and over again. Um, Valinor with that that you know that helix with the air to mech rocket capability. It's just uh, it's just really really dangerous to do that. Uh, Will probably yeah almost definitely be going to be able to take out that Dillo. And now oh he's probably going to be able to neutralize that outpost. Wolf Cup coming with infantry going to be able to take this mid away from Valinor, who is by the way still behind Husky. Um, oh, this outpost might not get neutralized. Uh, one bulb up. Valinor, where is Valinor? And he has more infantry coming. He is going for the mid fight instead. So Wolf Cub will not be able to grab this quite yet. Um, the last of those infantry have been killed by those billows that Wolf Cub dropped. And Wolf Cub now, oh man, once again overextended. Really, really low on health. Valinor landing for that kill, uh, but not trying to get Wolf Cub quite yet. Oh, but okay, now Wolf Cub does go down to enemy units. And Valinor going to be able to finish off the rest of these Dillos. Um, and now levels up, so it does not have to go back to charge. So let's see where he goes. He is going to grab some creeps. Wolf Cub also grabbing some creeps. Definitely these guys know that the outpost is the most important thing in this fight. But Wolf Cub dropping his last infantry on the other side. So one bulb up for green right now. Um, is he... Okay, Wolf Cub coming with more, in, more Dillos. <sighs> It's just this mid fight over and over and over again. Valinor is probably going to be able to get this with those four infantry and does sense that. So, uh, yes, he does grab it. I thought it was not going to uh, get that last bulb for a brief second there, but now sending those zippers of <laughs> and Wolf Cup. Oh, gets chased down once again. And I do think that will, that is probably the final nail in the coffin. 
uh, that last kill, Valinor with a Goliath, already level 7. Wolf Cup also level 7, but, you know, he really needs to queue up D Dillos for defense at this point. Uh, that one that one uh, Goliath will definitely be able to hold off those Dillos. Those Zippers are going to be able to neutralize this outpost. I think there's nothing defending. Uh, there is one... Oh, no, there's just infantry pa passing by, and uh, Valinor with that front door drop, blocked by Wolf Cup very, very quickly, but once again, the Goliath tanking a lot of damage. Uh, Valinor still behind in that that's really, really weird, but uh, really, really needs to drop that Goliath back in front. Okay, because he didn't drop it, or no, not because he didn't drop it, but because he had to retreat it, um, that outpost got neutral. The mid got neutralized once again, but once again, Valinor finishing up Wolf Cup on the ground, so I guess no harm, no foul. He will be able to kill most of the units over here with those rockets. Now runs out of energy, will go straight for that Dillo. Oh, it's a little bit in danger right now. Wolf Cup can drop for that hammer, and if he can get it, oh, does finish off Wolf, uh, Valinor on the ground. And now Wolf Cup kind of winning this mid fight. Valinor with a lot of Goliaths in queue though, and Wolf Cup only with Dillos. It's 54 to 45 right now. Valinor still behind an upkeep. That is just really, really weird to me. If Valinor was able to grab that mid, um, you know, you know that dominant position mid. He still def definitely, like, actually, you know, significantly behind an upkeep. Uh, will be able to grab this power station though. Right? Oh no, Wolf Cup does drop infantry of his own. Now Wolf Cup has mid and is going to bring some units back for this this forward. Valinor, just a single a single infantry will not be enough to actually take this outpost unless that runner a uh, runner gets spawned from that zipper after it dies. Let's see if it does. Uh, that zipper's actually not under attack, uh, unfortunately for Valinor. Oh, but Valinor sending out some Goliaths. From his forward, Wolf Cup does not see this yet. I am assuming Valinor is going to go with a hop over either that or distract Wolf Cup here at the, at the forward or, Val or Valinor is close. So Valinor can take the mid. And he is actually trying to distract uh, Wolf Cup, trying to keep him in the area. But now we do have Dillos coming up for Wolf Cup. Those, those Goliaths are still not even close to that, that, um, that, that corner where Valinor can actually hop them over. Wolf Cup does not see the... Oh, I guess he kind of saw that, but not, didn't really. Just for a really brief moment in time, Valinor with a couple of zippers. Is he going to go with a hop over right now? Uh, but Wolf Cup with a couple of Dillos at the front door. Valinor is taking quite a lot of damage. No, those Goliaths are just going to proceed to mid. Uh, they are go actually going to be really, really strong against the units that Wolf Cup has sitting over here. But now Wolf Cup neutralizing this forward. Valinor tr desperately trying to deal with what he has at the, at, uh, at the fort. Now one Dillo still firing in, not killed yet. Wolf Cup has been able to grab this close right now, and right now Valinor with four, five Goliaths and a Buster here at mid. So Wolf Cup able to grab this forward Valinor uh, with uh, with a couple of level four creeps here. So I don't think Wolf Cup's going to be able to keep this in his loadout or in his control for long. Not queuing up defensive probes. This last bub will go down. Four green creeps will go in, but Wolf Cup pushing out already. Uh, Valinor it does see it. Obviously there is a lot of Dillos coming, but Valinor with a really really great wall. Wolf Cup is here to maintain his units though. So let's see if he micros them around. But Wolf Cup, oh my God, hit, just getting hammered by those rockets getting finished off by Valinor so quickly and those Dillos are just getting shredded. Uh, a couple of random creeps here but nothing that Valinor can't handle. Valinor has been able to take this mid. Valinor is definitely ahead of, <laughs> of Wolf Cup in upkeep right now and uh, it is 81-45. It's pretty much double. Valinor has pretty much double the upkeep and will be able to grab mid. Wolf Cup is pretty much has no choice but to play defensively at this point. Uh, has nothing, uh, defending is close, so at this point Valinor can actually even drop there right now. Valinor defending his uh, his close, or not there. <laughs> Uh, I misspoke a little bit. Nothing really defending Wolf Cup's forward. Just those two Dillos. Those socket units are already gone. Valinor again pushing out with, the, with those Goliaths. Pretty much nothing but that Buster defending here at the mid. But Wolf Cup does see that now. Going to try to neutralize this. But I'm pretty sure Wolf Valinor is going to be able to react to this right away. He definitely does see that Wolf Cup is here and uh, does uh, scare him away with those rockets. Uh, a couple of zippers going down, uh, you know, I guess intended originally to neutralize Wolf Cup's forward, but now we'll do a, a fine job neutralizing, re-neutralizing this outpost. A couple of great creeps go in. Wolf Cup definitely does see those Goliaths coming. Oh, but they were set on capture, so they did back up. But now Valinor taking that that mid back, so that Valinor, the, 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 the Goliaths, 
do turn around once again. Valinor now going with a little bit of harass, distraction, killing one Moneymaker, will be able to finish off a second one. Wolf Cub, instead of responding to the Moneymakers, responds to these zippers, and uh, now Valinor can't kind of got it, came out ahead in both respects, able to finish off two socket units and neutralize Wolf Cub's close, uh, killing a third one? No, I think Wolf Cub saved that one. Uh, yeah, so I think he dropped it right about there. But now Valinor with a lot of goalies here at this at this forward, but Wolf Cub with a lot of goalies to defend as well. So I do think w Wolf Cub has the advantage at this point. The goalies will be going down. A lot of zippers actually going down right now by Valinor, so we probably will be able to get this neutralized. However, there is a lot of Goliaths surrounding still, and Wolf Cub will be able to fire in. Um, oh, I think Valinor might be able to actually grab this. Couple creeps still walking by, so he will be able to get those. And now Ratchet's coming out, will be able to get that salvage as well. Now, and finishing off Wolf Cub, oh, almost finishing off Wolf Cub. Uh, running out of energy, but pinning down Wolf Cub here. And this outpost, this 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 forward has been uh, neutralized and uh, pretty well surrounded by green units. Couple of Ratchet's going down, Valinor will be able to get that salvage. And now Wolf Cub, oh god, man, Valinor is just kind of waiting for his creeps to get there, um, and kind of, <laughs> kind of met uh, Wolf Cub's creeps wandering as well, but Wolf Cub getting finished off in the air one more time, and now Valinor able to, to clean up the rest of the orange slash carpet units here at this forward power station. And now Valinor grabbing creeps will be able to grab this power station, and now, um, <laughs> Wolf Cub determined to keep his last post with nothing but Dillos defending and there are a lot of Goliaths still out on the field for Valinor there are still four over here uh, where's that one random buster I guess Valinor probably grabbed it and at this point now Wolf Cub coming with a triple Dillo drop here at the side I would have kind of liked to see them go for the uh, uh, Wolf Cub drop here at the platform over here it wouldn't have been as contested by enemy units as dropping it here at the corner. But I guess it would have been easier to block. I'm not really sure. Valinor blocked that those those three Dillos with that one goalie pretty darn easy. Valinor going to be able to take this and keep it. Two Dillos firing in, but more creeps did walk in for Valinor. Shooting in with those rockets. He does have zippers in his loadout, or in his build too, so uh, I don't know if that's actually going to be super effective. But now Wolf Cup desperately trying to retake this outpost, spamming that hammer. Um, that one Dillo is gone, but now Valinor... Um, is going to be able to delight those these orange bulbs and light some bulbs of his own. He doesn't have any infantry in his loadout and now pushing out with Goliaths. So oh, is Wolf Cub going to be able to retake this? No, not quite. There are two green bulbs up left and there are only four uh, creeps that Wolf Cub is able to bring out. And now we do have Valinor coming out with with Goliaths from that forward. Going to be distracting Wolf Cub with more zippers here at the close. I don't even think Wolf Cub sees this on his radar. Okay, he definitely does now, but he's so distracted by all, this, all these zippers and random stuff that Valinor has been able to drop there at his close. Uh, Wolf Cup now definitely does see those Goliaths, but at this point the game is pretty much over. So many Goliaths, five Goliaths with a ratchet in support here at Wolf Cup's front door. Um, I don't know if they're actually hitting the front door. Uh, a few of them are. A few of them are actually hitting the side over here. But Valinor, it, you know, even though he lost the fight here at the close, uh, there is pretty much nothing left for Wolf Cub at the front door. And now this is pretty much just a matter of time. Valinor with a lot of Goliaths firing in. Wolf Cub does go down in defeat. Those, those Goliaths able to finish up Valinor there. Valinor does take this custom 1v1 on Nestorn over Wolf Cub. Uh, Mid-fight lasting pretty much forever. <laughs> um, I, 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 the kind of mid fight that you're kind of only used to seeing on Chasm, to be honest, just because uh, you know you do see that clump back and forth. But that happened on Nestorm this time. Valinor behind on upkeep for the majority of the game until he was able to actually grab and secure Wolf Cub's um, close or not close forward and that mid. Um, after Wolf Cub, uh, and then Wolf Cub was able to grab Valinor's four. That was kind of just back and forth craziness. So, uh, but yeah, that was pretty awesome. Valinor does take this 1v1 win on Nestor over Wolf Cub. Guys, remember, send in your replays at ruy0x at gmail.com, or you can also message me on Steam at ruy. You can also Carbon Forum or YouTube message me as well. Uh, but also, just check my video description, follow my Twitter, just because I need followers, and I don't have any people following me. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, this is ruy, and that is game. See you next time.